Hi, I'm Amy. Thank you for tuning in. I decided to do a haul video of the things that I've either been sent or bought um, in the past month or so. I've received quite a few books. Um, I've bought a lot of things secondhand uh, from charity shops and car boot sales. And I got a couple of quirky items too, so I thought I would share those with you. First, I've got a couple of updates to share. Um, I'm going to be doing a virtual launch um, on the 30th of August with lovely Beth um, from Beth's Book Nest. Um, you can find the details on her channel and on our social media. It's going to be at 8pm UK time. I'm going to be chatting about my books, um, about spooky books and books that we like in general. So it should be really fun. Um, I've done interviews with Beth before and she's brilliant. So I hope you'll join us for that. And the other thing I wanted to mention is that I've started doing reading sprints. So if you haven't checked them out yet, I'm tending to do them on a Thursday night, half past seven, when I get my toddler to bed. Um, I may change the night occasionally. Um, I'm quite busy in the run-up to publication of Mina and the Sayers um, and afterwards, so I may try different nights. Um, but generally, Thursday at 7.30, um, I will post about it on my social media. So if you'd like updates, keep an eye out for that. So first up, one of the quirky things. Um, I went to a car boot sale, bought lots of toys for my son, um, who's two. But I also found this really cute Vampirina plush um, and I got her for myself because um, I've seen occasionally on the Disney Channel but I just think she's really cute and I thought she'd look good on my shelves and um, so that's the first thing. Um, I also received a package which I think might be a package of books from a friend so let's see if I'm right. Awesome, here's what I think. So I'll show you the books and I'll tell you who they are from. So we have Night School, the Point Horror, and one of the Point Horror bind ups, which has the window, the train, and hit and run in it. Um, I'm trying to collect all the Point Horror books. Um, lovely Adam, um, the bearded bookman. Um, you can find him on Instagram. He has great taste, um, particularly in spooky books. Um, he offered to send me a couple of um, books that he had duplicate Point Horror copies of. Um, so that's really lovely. I'm looking forward to adding these to my collection. So thank you so much for those, Adam. I've been buying and receiving books again, so I thought it was time to do another book haul. There's definitely a theme recently where I've been trying to buy a lot more secondhand books um, and replacing books that I had in the past and also um, completing collections I started and kind of abandoned for whatever reason. So first up, a book that I have been sent with a few fun goodies. And um, so this is Big Bad Me by Aileen O'Loughlin. It is published by Little Island. So thank you very much to the publisher and Aileen for sending them to me. Um, I have started reading this um, in an ebook copy and absolutely love it. Um, but I, I struggle to read on PDF sometimes. So I'm really excited to get this so that I can absolutely race through it. It is a werewolf book and it has that real feel of um, Buffy where there are family members and found family. And it's just written in a kind of... Um, quippy and fun way and the dialogue is great as well as there being some serious subject matters like Buffy dealt with so that is the book and I'll show you the fun things I was sent so hot chocolate plays a part in the book believe it or not um quite a fun role and um, so it's really nice that they sent that also a little bit of full fur and a welcome to bright side postcard so that's really cool thank you very much for those Next up, we have Heartstopper Volume 3 because I'm racing through these. I keep promising myself that I will try and pace, spread them out and pace myself um, because I'm just enjoying them so much. I know, I think there are only going to be five of them, um, but I just can't start reading them. So I've bought the next one. I'm sure I'll read it really, really soon. Next, I've got two books that I've been seeing all over social media, poss possibly because of the Summerween Readathon, and that is My Killer Vacation by Tessa Bailey which is romance crossed with a murder mystery and I'm just really excited about both of those things. And next we have Kill River by Cameron Rubik. Um, I've been in the mood for a slasher. I'm always looking for slashers in book form. So movies like Scream and I know it did last summer. I love to see them um, as a book. People like Adam Caesar did that really well in Clown in the Cornfield and I'm hoping that Kill River will be a similar sort of slasher vibe. Um, so next up, I've got a couple of series that I started in the past and for whatever reason didn't finish. Um, and I only ever had them in pieces, sort of some ebooks, some physical, um, which I now have no recollection of where I put them. So I've ended up buying secondhand physical copies of them and hopefully I'll be able to finish them this time around. I don't think I've got the full series yet for each one, but I just bought lots of them secondhand and then I'm hopefully going to fill in the gaps. So the first series I'm going to talk about is um, the Night Huntress books. I'll show you the stack that I got. 
Um, these are about a girl called Kat who is half vampire and um, half human which is a very rare condition in this world um, and she has decided to kill vampires um, instead of embracing the vampire part of herself. Um, they are, I'd call them paranormal romance mysteries, thrillers, kind of all rolled into one and um, very heavy on the kind of um, spicy romance. Um, I've just started reading the first one and I am enjoying it. I think that sometimes books when I haven't read them for a long time certain aspects maybe some language hasn't 100% aged well but I think I will still be able to really enjoy it and just remember that it was written at a different time quite a, a while ago now. The next series I'm going to talk about is the House of Night books by PC and Christine Cast. I did manage to finish this series the first time around so I'm hoping that with the help of this lovely secondhand seller I'm going to be able to read them all. So these are the paperbacks that arrived and there are some hardcovers as well. Or maybe a paperback tucked in there. One or two, two. Oh, they're heavier than I thought. So I've made quite a good start to that collection. Um, I don't know how many of the books there are, but I'm really excited to read those because I remember around the time of Twilight when I was obsessed with vampires, um, and still am, let's be honest. Um, but at that particular point when I was craving that kind of um, YA vampire story, the House of Night books were a perfect um, companion to that. Hi, I've received a few interesting things in the past couple of weeks, so I thought I would share some of them with you. Um, first up, I've ordered some stickers. Um, I'm going to be um, kind of making myself a diary to try and keep track of all my social media and things. So I've bought the planner, a plain folder, and I decided to buy some cute stickers to decorate it with. So this is the first. These are from um, Kitten Caboodle 13 um, on Etsy. Um, so if you are interested, you can look, check their stuff out. Um, they have some really gorgeous things on there. Oh, one of them being I know I must have just ordered one of these in the end. Um so I ordered this um Buffy the Vampire Slayer Vampire Book sticker. I'm hoping you can see that. Um really, really cute. I like the size of them because I'm thinking that um I can get lots of different vampire stickers to put on my folder. Um and they also sent this cute little promo sticker as well. So that one's really lovely. Um, hopefully there'll be some more stickers arriving soon so I can get that decorated. Um, next up we have um, The Haunting of Ashburn House by Darcy Coates. Um, I really enjoyed The Haunting of Lee Harker. Um, so I thought I would give another one of these a go. Um, and Erin Megan, who um, is a big Darcy Coates fan, um, recommended this one to me. Um, so I'm planning to read it next. Um, it says in the back, there's something wrong with Ashburn House. Everyone knows about Ashburn House. They whisper that its old owner went mad and restless ghosts still walk the walls. When Adrian, desperate and in need of a place to stay, inherits the crumbling old mansion, she only sees it as a lifeline until darkness falls. Strange messages are etched into the walls. Furniture moves when she leaves the room, and a grave hidden in the depths of the forest hints at a terrible, unforgivable secret. Something twisted lives in her house, its hungry eyes ever watchful. Chasing the threads of a decades-old mystery it isn't long before she realises she's become prey to something deeply unnatural and intensely resentful. She has no idea how to escape. She has no idea how to survive. Only one thing is certain, Ashburn's dead are not at rest. That sounds really good. I've been looking for something with that horror movie, um, Haunted House feel, um, kind of like The Haunting of Hill House, um, the TV show in book form, and this one sounds perfect. So thank you for the recommendation, Erin. Um, next, I did a video recently um, on TikTok about um, Lainey Taylor book covers, and someone pointed out to me that I didn't have all the editions of Dora Swerk and Bone. Um, I'm trying to collect them all. So I decided to get these, so I'm just going to unwrap them now and have a look at what they're like. Oh, that's gorgeous, yes. So, picture of the iconic door from Daughter of Smoke and Bone. Okay, I'm in the wrong order. It's obviously been too long since I've read these, but I'm having to think about the order. Days of Blood and Starlight and Dreams of Gods and Monsters. I absolutely love these books. They are my favourite, but definitely my favourite fantasy trilogy, if not one of my favourite trilogies of all time. Um, I think I might need to do a reread of those in the near future. Hi, I've decided to do a haul of some exciting posts that I've had recently and a few Halloween things that I've bought. Um, so first, I've got some stickers. Um, not talk too much while I'm opening this because it's wrapped really well. Um, so I decided to decorate a boring folder that I've got with some spooky stickers and I'm hoping that this is going to be some of them. 
That was so cool. So we have a Lost Toys sticker and a Texas Chainsaw Massacre one. And unfortunately there's no information about who I bought it from but I will link in the description and find the name of the seller from Etsy if you're interested. Next I feel that we have more stickers from the shape of the envelope. Ah, so we have Leverett by Witch, Leverett by Witchcrafts, and they are on Leverett Shop on Instagram. Included a cute little postcard, and then the stickers. It's like I like things that are nicely packaged. Ooh, I heard a lot from this one. I've gone. Oh, these are the spike ones. So, one of my favourite spike quotes. <laughs> Another one, both from Tabula Rossa. From Once More With Feeling. These are really cute. I knew that had to have some Buffy stickers on there. And I drew one. Awesome. So that's the sticker haul and next um, to probably the bookish post that I'm the most excited about, I got the finished copies of Mean and the Slayers. It's such a weird feeling to get a finished copy of your book when you've seen it on screen, you've seen the proof, but then you get the actual cover and here it is. I hope you love it as much as I do. It was illustrated by Fred Gambino, um, designed by Becky Chilcott. And I love the fact that it looks like a VHS case. And on the back, I don't know if you can see, but the trees from the front go across. I really love it. Um, I like the colour palette and how it looks with book one, so I'm really excited next to see it in bookshops. So the next book post, which is related, um, we have One Girl in All the World. Thank you so much, Disney Hyperion and Kendara Blake for sending me this. Um, it's the sequel to In Every Generation, which I absolutely loved. So on the theme of Slayers like my book, um, I really, really loved In Every Generation, so this one I'm super excited about. As you can see, I've read a little bit already and it is so good. Um, I love how Kendara Blake has captured the world of Buffy so beautifully and the way the characters speak. And it just feels like a perfect continuation um, quite a number of years after the TV show finished. So really, really enjoying this. It comes out in January next year if you're interested. I'm also halfway through this book and I <laughs> recently lost it. so. I started reading it, I bought it for Spoopathon um, to fulfil the ghostly prompt and then lost it. So I wasn't able to finish. I did get murdered during Spoopathon, which um, the idea was to get through um, in one piece through all the prompts. And of course I lost my book, so I couldn't finish it. It's really good so far. I'm trying to work my way steadily through the Darcy Coates books. And I think this one is my favourite so far. Next, we have a physical copy of a book that I read on my Kindle. And I loved it so much, um, The Stitches from the Fright Watch series by Laureen Lawrence. I've decided to cut the physical copies. I don't think the other books are out in paperback yet, so I'm holding on until they are, but the cover's so cute. If you like um, the Goosebumps type middle grade book that's quite spooky, these are absolutely perfect. Next we have A Haul from the Works. Um, I haven't even taken the stickers off yet, it's such a recent purchase. Um, so this is a book about the origins and influence of Dracula which of course I couldn't resist. Um, huge vampire fan, I thought that this sounded interesting. Beach read, I've decided to read some light fun books in between the creepy things I'm reading, so this one just looked like it would tick those boxes. This one's called Paranormal Stories, um, Supernatural Tales and Unexplained Mysteries from Around the World. Couldn't resist that title, so I thought I'd give it a go. And next we have a charity shop haul. So. I've been trying to collect books that I either got out from the library in the past or read um, the ebook copies. The Hunger Games trilogy, I read library books, so I never actually had them. Saw these in charity shop and thought I'd go for it. I haven't read them since they first came out, so I'm interested to reread and maybe read the latest book too um, to see how I feel about them. I quite like rereading a long time after the fact. And next we have a Halloween book haul. Um, Next we have a Halloween haul, kind of a mini haul from my local TK Maxx. 
this skeletal glass which I just thought was really cool. I'm probably going to use this for some spooky drinks near at Halloween. <coughs> Next we have a blanket. I'm laughing because it's the worst day to hold a blanket up but we have black and white bats and then I can turn it over. It's so hot so it's really really hard to touch things so fluffy. Um, we have white with black bats on the other side. Thought that was really cool. It will be nice for when it gets to Halloween, I'm sure. And next we have this little spooky house, which lights up. Um, let's see if I can show you in all of its glory, which I really liked. I think I might keep that on my shelves year round. Um, it's wooden, quite lightweight, so I think it should go nicely on top of my bookshelf. Um, I think that's it for the slightly spooky haul, plenty of books, um, so that is everything I've got so far recently. Uh, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed seeing some of the things I've bought um, and been sent this past month. Um, as always, likes and subscribes are really appreciated and I hope I'll see you at some of my reading sprints or in the comments soon. Thank you.